So hey guys, I'm recording this video because I have um, my last music project called Capstone Project and here I the teacher asked me to choose and I choose to be a risk taker about my music project and actually this is my first time learning guitar and I don't I never played guitar before and I learned this project I mean I learned this guitar for only about one month just for this capstone project but maybe in the future I'll be continuing myself to play guitar again if I have time and practice more than it should be and here I'm going to tell that the one that I'm going to teach you is about more like about an easy song for guitar and it's really really for beginner edit I also found that I mean found the tutorial in YouTube and it's only used three chords so the first chord is C here's I don't know why you don't see it the first one is C and then the second the second chord is I mean it's not C I just remember that the one that I made it it's D it's D yeah it's D and then the second chord that I need to use is actually C but my teacher recommended me to just use C2 to make it more easier so this is C2 And then the last one is G. G chord I just use it. I just use it to make it more special. This G. Yeah. Uh, I usually practice in my school using kind of a bigger guitar, but now I'm in my dorm, so I only have a smaller guitar. Well, I first I only practice this just to study the key, I mean, and the chord too. But for playing a song, I think it's better to use a much better and no way more expensive guitar than than a smaller. And this is a really cheap guitar, so it might be sounds really bad. And I mean, this is my really really first time and I don't have any super confident on it yeah maybe I'll just play some song because this song have has have a really really easy pattern this will really have an easy pattern that you could really play so the first one is this first one is it's the beginning of the song the beginning is you need to play C. And then after that, after C, you need to play the C again. Second one, no one, you need to play the. I mean, it's not C, it's D. I just remember it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just make that to make the video more fun. And second one is C2. Just now it's D. Just now it, it was D. It was D. I'm sorry. It was the D chord. And now. It's too small. It's too small. And second one is. You need to play C2. And the last one is G. And mess up it. Okay. And so and then you need to repeat that twice. So it's more about the beginning of the song. So it's 
like this. Let me click again. Like this one. Please start once more. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just a real beginner. It's my first home, I mean, home project. I practice my for most of my winter break for this. This is my last project in my high school. I almost graduation. Then you need to move to G. Then you need to move to the D again. So that is the beginning of the song. And the second one is about. I mean the chord is have having the same pattern. It's C C. I mean not C C. I mean D D C two G. Okay, D D C two G. So it's only keep on repeating. So the first one is C. You need to play doubles, and then, and then you need to play. I mean not C. It's D. I always mix up C and D. Why? Okay. <laughs> so the first the first one you need to play is C. I mean D. And you need to play it twice. After that, you need to play C two, and it's only once. And then the last one, you need to play G, and then it's only once also. So for the strumming pattern, the strumming pattern that I learned to play for the song, the whole song, the entire song, it's all the same. Well, you there's they. I also watched the video. It says that you could do the new thing. With your hands, I mean the palms of your hands, but I'm still a beginner. I don't know what what that means and how should I deal with it, cause I'm really really beginner, and I just learned this for only one month. I need to practice. Okay, move on. So let me show you the strumming pattern. I mean strumming pattern like, but first one you need to use. I mean you need to start from D, right? But let I just for this for for an example, I need I'll I'll just play for you the G chord, G chord. I mean G chord, G chord and strumming pattern. Strumming pattern is so easy. It's only down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up. So it must be like this. Up. <laughs> I'll play one more time. So it must be. That's the strumming pattern, and it keep the same for the entire whole song. I think it's really really good for a really beginner. And if you practice more than I do, you should playing the song called Royals by Lorde better than I am. So I'll play from the D. So it's D D C two G, D D C G, and it repeats for the entire whole song. And start only that. So it must be. Sorry guys, I slip my hand again. So much more bad. The guitar is so small. Still. And then you need to move to G. And you need to keep repeating your song. So let me play once more from the beginning and play the that part. For maybe twice, 
and it's keep the same until you finish the song. that's my a little bit my performance and my tutorial for the capstone project and I mean this song I mean this video is usually more of it's about my uh, <laughs> my progress for one month we're just practicing from the first strumming part and then I learn how to about I need to memorize some the chords also and I need to learn how to move from chords to chords and it's really difficult for me for on, for only practicing for one man I think I need more time that I could play the song so it's a really really basic things I'm really really beginner but I think if you already if you're a beginner that you already practice for like four months or three months like that for about only the chords and strumming and you could really do well on the strumming and your I mean and your chords I think you could play this song easily because it's only have the same pattern the same for the entire whole song so thank you